I don't know the age of everyone in the audience, but I would bet that when you took biology class and you learned the age of the Earth four and a half billion years ago, and then you look at the earliest evidence for life, fossil evidence of life on Earth, then you get about three and a half billion years. Subtract those two numbers, get the difference between those two numbers, and that's the time clock from beginning to the first evidence for life, okay? That was about a billion years out of the four and a half billion years that Earth has been here. So that's pretty quick. It happened in like the first 20% of the life of the planet. And the first 20% was pretty rough. There was, was a. Wait, wait, no, no, hold, dip, 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 dip. hold on. <laughs> Since the time we all took biology, we have learned, we have found fossil evidence of life farther back in time than three and a half billion years. Mm -hmm. It now goes back to 3.8. There's some evidence it might even reach 3.9. So we have shrunk in the time available for life to have formed on this earth. That makes it more likely. If the, the faster life kicks in from a pool of just random chemicals, not random, they're, they're the chemicals of the universe, the faster that happens, the more confidence I have that life is something that would happen just given the right, the right soup and soup starter, okay? Now, we then learned when computers got good, better than they once were when we were in school as kids. The early universe, the, sorry, the early solar system didn't just simply make the sun and the planets. There was debris all scattered interplanetary in interplanetary space. And that debris slowly got vacuumed up by the gravity of the respective planets. That would not have been a pleasant occasion on the surface of those planets. Because to vacuum it up simply means you're getting slammed by the kind of asteroid that took out the dinosaurs, except you're getting that monthly. And you can calculate what the temperature of Earth's surface would have been. And it would have been higher than what would allow complex molecules to form. Because at high temperatures, you break apart molecules. So, what our computer models show is that this period of bombardment, period of heavy bombardment is the official phrasing, lasted 600 million years. So it's not fair to start the life clock at 4.5 billion years ago because life had no chance of forming when the surface of the Earth is molten. Wait for things to cool down. When there's a chance that carbon can run its magic, then you start the clock. Now you're going from 4 billion years ago into 3.8 billion years, and you have pinched the Whoa. time it takes to start life down to 200 million years, down from a billion years that was imagined a, a, just a generation ago. And that is further evidence. Practically the earliest life could have formed, it did. 